right now. I'm so excited right now. I'm back. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm here. I got my single called Feeling Myself. My first mixtape coming out. Future Dreams. Future Dreams. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. <laughs> hey, we we I'm used to the to the to that raw ghetto vibe. Yeah. What vibe we on with the new joint, Joe? I mean, is it is it is it raw uncut? Do you got like more concepts, themes? You know what I'm saying? Collaborations. Give me give me the the vibe first of all. What's going on with the new project? What's the vibe on the new project? Uh, five features. I got my girl Dreezy on there. Uh, about the vibe, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a feeling myself, get you in the mood, you feeling yourself, and, and, father, you know me, man, uh, my harmonizing, and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm feeling myself, you know. I was just talking about that with you off camera. The harmonizing and what's going on now. You was doing that very young in your career. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't know your beginnings, how young you started off, and something. You know what I'm saying? The vibe that was going on it wasn't popular then, but you were still in your own lane. You know what I'm saying? Talk about the uniqueness with your style, how you develop it, what inspired it, and, and how you know what I'm saying? How has it evolved up to now? What inspired it? You real talk. You, you know what I'm I've been doing this for so long, man. I'm talking about actually, for real. I've been doing this since like '98. I was right. like 12, man. And uh, everything that's going on right now today, I've been, I, I've been doing this. Far as like, right. far as like drill music. And I want to say like drill music, but right. coming from where we come from, everybody come from Chicago, and uh, the the, the beats. I mean, I mean, long story short, when you listen to my music right now today, you know. Hey, so you see, see the thing about it is you didn't call it drill music, but a lot of people don't know you come from the project, right? You come from an area. You was part of the Kill 'Em All click. Now you got some shit called Kill 'Em All. You don't kind of call it drill music. You know it's raw. You know that shit, driller. You know what I'm saying, whatever. So. That Kill 'em All vibe, I was on that. I was on that raw uncut, you know what I'm saying? Fires, your early career and what you was on, you know what I'm saying? So, even though you didn't have a label for it, whatever the case may be, how do you, when you listen to it now, do you see a lot of like a, the people that even came under you, the youngins under you, how they was inspired, just coming from that environment? Because they coming from the same place, they from the south side. I swear to God, I see everybody. Right. This right here. Right. What you listening to right now? Ray Ski. <laughs> All your influence, man. I, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I feel that. You know? So, we got the new single. That's buzzing. You know, what's the name of the mixtape, though? The album? I don't know, bro. Really, for real, for real. I just, I think I'm going to self-title it. You going to self-title it? Yeah. I'm going to self-title it. Cause I'ma do me though, Beth. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know. I I, I know you be working hard in the studio. Yeah. How many um, you know, how, how many tracks you you, you trying to you put on on there? You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, you just record until you get it right. Cause I know you just go all in until you get it right. Bro, I swear to God, they they talking about they want to team these people. They want to give them like they want to give them like twelve songs. I want to flood these. I already know how you work. Cause you got about fifty. You got you gonna make about fifty songs anyway. You feel me? Yeah. I already yeah. know how you get down. Hey, bro. I swear to God, I was just talking to my brother. I was talking to my little brother the other day. Right. He like race me, man. We were just sitting right here last month. Right. And with no views, he say, "Now nah, look at this." He say, "And you think they and everybody talking about this feeling myself, bro? The music that we got, though, man." Uh huh. Out of there, banana. If, if they, if, if these people let us in here, it's been one. It's been one. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you, what do you think about? I got, you know, I mean, obviously, I don't think it's the the artist's responsibility, but when we're talking about the music and all that, what do you think? The responsibility with the violence that's going on. I don't I don't attribute to the artists, but y'all automatically get associated with it when y'all create music, the content, the shorties, you know what I'm saying, to the lesser degree, you know, the people that's trying to come up and also the people that's make it. You know what I'm saying? Are you conscious of that now? You know what I'm saying? Or are you you know what I'm saying? Oh, very, for real though, for real though, very, very conscious of that. 
And I think, uh, as far as music, you know, man, it's a big influence on the world today, you know, just like sports, man. And I think that, uh, the violence, we, you know what I'm saying, as far as the violence, that for real, for real, man, I don't be want to say nothing about it. I really don't be want to say nothing about right. it, though, fast. But, man, I think, man, we get. I think music speak a big influence on it, man, and I think, man, I'm not with all that, though. I'm going to tell you the truth, real, man. I'm not with all the violence. I'm with the stop the violence, dude. I'm going to keep it 100 with you, man. Man, I want to know what was going through your head when you made that song project, though, man. <laughs> You don't know. Every day waking up in there. I mean, it's like smelling the elevators. You know, you don't know how many people roll with me. Like, man, who the hell is this? You playing? You know what I'm saying? Or whatever case, because I'm bumping the joint. You feel what I'm saying? And that's some authentic shit, right there. I mean, like, you know, the authenticity coming through the lyrics or whatever case may be. Is that is that something you know what I'm saying? Is it hard to come up with since you're not in that place no more, or is just you just writing what's going on now? How's the vibe now, as far as the writing? Because you're not really in that place no more. You've moved further. You know what I'm saying? You evolved as a man and matured. You know what I'm saying? What where you coming from in the mental now? What what inspires you now? That you know what I'm saying when you wake up in the morning? My kids, my family. Okay, let's talk about that. Okay. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Growing up, man. Growing up in the projects. You know. Man, I, I ain't, I ain't went nowhere. You know right. I ain't went nowhere, but just waking up in that, waking up in that situation that day. You know what I'm saying? Real exactly. Real. Exactly. So what's the next thing we're just dropping after the? It's filling myself, right? Yeah. What's dropping after filling myself? I don't know. Right now we got, uh, we got all white pieces. <laughs> I got what you want. Pieces of my homie Chicago League. Uh, uh huh. I got a whole lot of me. I got a whole lot of me. Uh, I don't know what we finna do, man. We we really we probably finna let the people decide. I got some. I got a video called Balling Out of Control right now. Too finna come out. I'm oh. gonna drop that too. Boy. Okay. The Balling Out of Control joint. The video coming for that one. <clears throat> and then we got the joint feeling myself. So. Let, let the people know, you know, obviously on YouTube is coming, you've got a YouTube channel, let them people know, Twitter, SoundCloud, whatever connections we can get these joints at, it's obviously going to be at blacktruth.net, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, which is the joint you're interviewing on now, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be on there, but let the people know the other outlets it's going to be on. Uh, SoundCloud, you can follow me on SoundCloud at Rayski G. Rayski G, no doubt. Go add me on Facebook too at PJB.Rayski, follow me on Twitter at Rayski HTG, and uh. Instagram me, man. I'm trying to get my Instagram busted. Y'all come rock with me, man. Turn my Instagram up for real, man. At PJB.Race. Let's get it. No doubt. Hey, man. Proud of you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You my little nigga, you, man. Yeah. Love my nigga right here, Joe. <laughs> Race G. The joint is dropping untitled. We Right now, we just gonna call it you know what I'm saying? The Race Key G project. It's self-titled right now. You know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to have that right now until further notice. Y'all check the feeling myself. And that's what it is, man. Race Key G, we at the listening party. Chicago, Illinois, blacktroop.net. We about to get it in. Wings and motherfucking drinks. Black people style. Y'all know how we do it. Follow me on Instagram, too. Man. Instagram. Man, get this man Instagram up, Joe. Y'all chicks, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. Request this man, Joe. Follow him. No doubt. We out. Race Key G. Yeah.